I moved up to Portland from Hawaii five years ago to attend university. Ultimately, I wanted to end up at a place where I could make a difference, a difference that I believed in. I also really loved the city of Portland and all of its vibrancy. I graduated in May of 2014 with a journalism degree. It was one of the best moments of my life so far, really. I thought that it'd be no problem to apply for a job online, but after submitting dozens of online applications and not hearing back, not even a no, I started to become quite discouraged. I don't have any vision in my left eye. In fact, I, I don't even see black. And in my right eye, I see in color, but it's as if you were looking through the lens of a digital camera with the zoom off. Yeah, it looks like an L, <laughs> at least to me. You can't just have people pulling you along and hope you end up somewhere great. You know, you need to have a vision. I was pretty restless and wanted to contribute my skill set to doing something meaningful. All the things that you could see on the computer, I hear. Instead of using a mouse, I use specialized keyboard commands. It's almost like you know, you're speed listening instead of speed reading. The counselor that I met with suggested a local nonprofit called Insight. Helping job seekers highlight and showcase their abilities with resume building, interview assistance, and targeted job fairs. I submitted my resume in not even two hours. I got an email back from Kali Giarita letting me know that, you know, yes, you can participate in this event, but my experience merited something a little bit more high level. I was overwhelmed. Thank you so much. You too. My situation was going from not hearing back to hearing that my experience merited something a little bit more high level than even what she was organizing. I went to that live resume event, talked to a lot of the employers and had some really great conversations. That live resume event really made me feel good it was the perfect thing that I needed. More keys, badge, I think we're good. I had continued to stay in touch with Callie from Insight. She had made connections with a recruiter from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service looking for a public affairs officer candidate. After numerous interviews, they had gone through the candidate list and they had decided that I'd be the best fit for that position. Currently, I work for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service as a public affairs officer. Here I am getting to work towards the conservation of the beautiful places that I called home in Hawaii and that I call home here in the Pacific Northwest. It's an incredible place to be, and I love it, I really do. Rather than looking at it as what's out there for me, or what can I get just to get, we should be asking the question of, you know, what is our full potential? You'll run into people that want to help you along the way. You know, that partnership will get you there, but keep on looking forward with conviction about where you want to end up, you'll get there.